Hey, my name is Peter Cassidy. I'm the general manager here at Elevation Adventure Rentals. We're stoked to have you join us for some fun on the mountain. We've prepared this short video just to get you familiar with what you'll be doing on the day, unloading the trailer at the snow park, reloading the trailer at the end of the day, and also a few tips about how to get unstuck if you find yourself in a little bit of trouble on a powder day which is what we all wish for. Uh, beyond this video, when you arrive, we'll give you a full safety briefing, but uh, take a few minutes to watch this, get yourself familiar and, and comfortable with what you'll be doing on the day. Can't wait to see you soon. Once you've parked in a safe spot, remove the locking pin from the front ramps. Now you can lower the ramps, which will allow you access on both sides of your vehicle. You'll then remove the clamps which are holding the skis in place. Make sure you don't lose a washer or a bolt when removing them from the trailer bed. Next you'll undo the tie down straps. You'll want to ensure the trailer bed is free of any items before firing up the sleds. Carefully climb up onto the trailer and mount the snowmobile you plan to unload. Take the tether and clip it to a belt loop or a sturdy piece of clothing. To start the engine, switch the key to the on position, check your tether is connected and check the kill switch is up. Give the starter cable a pull and the engine should fire up easily. Let the engine warm up for a minute or two until the engine cold warning disappears from the display. Ensure your fingers are hovered over the brake, then gently rev the engine to slowly drive the sled down the ramp. You'll notice here that you'll need to turn the skis slightly to follow the ramp angle. Use the red kill switch to shut off the engine. By the way, pulling out the tether also kills the engine if you ever fall clear of the sled. Once the sled is in a safe spot, return the front ramps to their closed position. Don't forget the locking pin to secure them in place. Pick up the straps and clamps and leave them neatly on the trailer bed before riding out. If you find yourself stuck and the track is spinning out, kill the sled and try not to keep digging yourself deeper. You'll first want to get the sled back into an upright position and you can do this by rocking it back and forth with your body weight. Next you'll move to the rear of the sled. If the track has been spinning there's a good chance you're in a deep rut. You can lift the rear of the sled and drop it a little off to the side, doing this a few times if necessary. This will position it on some firmer snow and also give you its space to kick down some of the surrounding snow and pack it under the track so it has something to bite into. Pack down the snow with your feet to make a solid base, then you can lift the track back onto the packed snow. Now you want to move up to the front of the sled. Up this end, your first job is to clear any built up snow out from under the engine. You can do this by packing down the powder with your feet. Next, you'll want to get the skis clear and free, sitting on top of the snow and not buried deep underneath. You can do this by grabbing and lifting each ski, setting them back down on top of the snow. By now, your track should have a firm base, your engine should be clear, and your skis are on top of the snow. Get back up on the sled, give it a few rocks until it's standing tall and upright, reattach your tether, check your kill switches up, then fire up the sled. From here, give the throttle some firm pumps. You'll need some speed to pop out quickly. Inching out slowly will only dig you back in again. Keep your finger over the brake, but keep the throttle on while you clear the deep stuff and get back onto the trail. Easy. Make sure the sleds are parked in a safe position and away from any traffic, then remove the straps and clamps and anything else from the trailer bed. Unlatch the locking attachment, which keeps the rear ramp in place, then slide out the ramp. This is an easier task with two people, but it can be done solo in a pinch. Spin the ramp around, then lower the hooks into position at the rear of the trailer. Make sure to slide it to the edge so the white tracks are aligned. Take some time to ensure the sled is lined up perfectly parallel to the ramp, reversing and adjusting if necessary. Once you're lined up, keep your fingers over the brake and give just enough throttle to propel you up the ramp. As soon as you're up, brake firmly. 
the ski should almost be touching the front ramp. Kill the engine, remove your tether, and replace it securely around the handlebars. Put the ski clamps in place and in line with the screw mechanism. Tighten firmly, checking the skis are secure. Once both sleds are in place, remove the rear ramp, lower to the ground and spin so the hooks are at the tail end of the trailer. Pick up the ramp and guide it into its storage tracks. You want to make sure to release the locking attachment so the ramp is held in place. Then test this by pulling back the ramp to ensure it's held there securely. Thread the tie down strap through the rear of the snowmobile trains. This is gonna keep the sleds locked firmly in place and prevent them sliding from side to side. Thread the strap through the ratchet mechanism, making sure to prevent twists and tangles. Ratchet the strap down firmly, then make sure the remaining strap doesn't get caught anywhere by tying a loose knot. And that's it, too easy. Once you've loaded the trailer, you can head back to a gas station uh, and fill those sleds up with 92 premium unleaded, and then you can head back to the shop and, and drop them off. Well, we're looking forward to meeting you in person. You're gonna have an epic time on the mountain. Thanks very much.